Now her, you like that? Yeah, that's All good. right, that's good. <laughs> and now her time with the fair is coming to an end. For 50 years, Renee Corsline has been associated with the fair. Much of that time as general manager, but now she has decided to step down. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Why now? Why now? Well, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, I mean, it's, it is honestly time. Um, you know, during the normal year, I can probably do it, but boy, those fair days. Mm -hmm. it's, it, the best part is when you work 20, day, 20 hours and you can keep going, and at night when things are all fired up and about midnight, you want to take a drive around and check how things are going, and I can't do it. I got to go to bed. Yeah. And I got to be ready for the next day, and uh, it just told me. Yep. Time was time. now. Okay. I talked to you in the green room while we were getting ready for this, and I could see in your face, because I asked you and I congratulated you on this, and I could see in your face that you're going, it is really bittersweet, isn't oh, it? Oh, for sure. More bitter than sweet. Mm -hmm. I love my job. I always have. That's a good thing about it is, I'm not saying this just now. I used to say to Jerry Iverson many years ago, Jerry, I love this job. I'll do it for free someday if mm. I ever get enough money. He said, you'll never get enough money. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it's interesting to me, and, and, and Heidi may step in here and, and adjust your mic a little bit, but one of the things that we talked about, come on in, Heidi, and if you want to take a, take a uh, shot We're at that, we're just going to flip it around. One of the things you told me in the green room, Renee, was that when you first started, you were doing the books and you were financially involved in the finances, and you said you did everything by hand. There was no calculator, there was no adding machine. You added it up on a piece of paper. We did, and, and I worked for a wonderful man that was exact, and that's what we did, is we did the multiplying and the adding, and uh, we, we did it by hand. Mm -hmm. We did it all by hand. And we did that for several years until one of, there was only three of us, and one of my coworkers said, I'm gonna bring in a calculator. How do you think that's gonna go? <laughs> Well, I'll bet the calculator's still around. <laughs> oh, I think so. You have written some pretty monstrous checks to some of these acts, haven't you? And and they are there, and it used to be especially longer ago that the act themselves would stand there and wait for you to sign that check. Well, absolutely, and honestly, they still do, but what was really different is now that we have an electronic ticketing system, sure. it gives you the answer. Okay. You know, we used to count the hard tickets, and then we had to prove which ones we had sold and uh, sometimes a bit more challenging, but all good. Not all of these acts were a pleasure to work with either, were they? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, they're much better now yeah. than they were years ago. Um, I gotta tell you that working with the artists this year of Jelly Roll, Ludacris, t -Pink, they were phenomenal mm -hmm. people and so polite and kind. And you said Jelly Roll, who had a great turnout, is is saying, hey, I want to be there again I in 2024. He kept on saying, can I come back? Can I? <laughs> how, how far in advance do you book these things, whether it be the carnival or these acts? How far, I mean, you guys aren't, it's not like in July 1st, you're worrying about this particular fair. You guys are working way ahead. Yeah, we're working on 2024 now, and usually, the fair before, we can sometimes announce who they are. And we are to the point now, we're just putting in the final acts for 2024. Okay, uh, what's next for you? What, what, are your, what are your plans? You're gonna put down the pen and paper, I hope, and, and leave the numbers alone. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I have to yeah. catch up first. Uh, as I said, I'm, I've been putting off a few things even in the work world that I wanna just catch up and clean up and. I'll still be buzzing around the office for a little bit longer, mm -hmm. just cleaning up my stuff. Yeah, you said that early September is the official time, but you're not gonna be finished by then, and you're gonna, you love this job, oh, didn't I you? Love absolutely it. loved it. Yeah, absolutely, still do. Yeah, even though fair day can sometimes be 100 degrees and... But that's the best days. Yeah. Those nine days are the, we work all year long for those nine days. Yes, we do all those other off-season things and great things like the Huss Fest and the Egg Show and all those good, good things, but the nine days is our harvest. Mm -hmm. That is our harvest. Yeah, and I don't know if you want to mention names here, but going back to some of these acts, you said literally <laughs> there were some that would take cash, cash only, <laughs> bills, yes. stuff them in their boots when they left. Yep, good old Waylon Jennings. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, he did. And, and some of those acts were a lot tougher to deal with then. Sure. But th now they're, uh, they're, they're wonderful. 
Now, we pay them a whole lot more mm -hmm. now than we ever did, of course, like everything else. But, uh, yeah, they get the big dollars, but they bring in a lot of good people. Okay, I got one more question about this particular subject, and that is, you said you were writing a huge six, almost seven-figure <laughs> check one time, and your ink pen went dry. Aerosmith. <laughs> It was a percentage check, and yes, we were backstage, and we got it all figured out. And one of my first alone checks, just Craig and I uh, writing out this check to him, and was $963,000, and my pen didn't work. There you go. <laughs> I said almost a million-dollar check, and she's got a 99-cent pen that won't, that won't write out the figures. Oh, isn't that great to remember? Oh, times? just fantastic. Well, Renee, I'll tell you what, congratulations on a fantastic and marvelous career you've had with the State Fair. I'm sure you're going to be around in some way. So thank you for joining us this morning. It's been a real pleasure talking to you. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you. All right, Renee Korsling, retiring now as the general manager of the North Dakota State Fair. Thank you. We're going to take a break. We're back. Heidi's going to look at our seven-day forecast when we come back.